With the Venice Boardwalk app, you can swipe through all that Venice has to offer. Adding locations to your custom map, finding coupons to local favourites, and shopping peer-to-peer -peer from the comfort of your hotel room, beach towel, or anywhere you'd like. Now everyone can feel like a local, from the Venice Pier to the Santa Monica Pier. Hi and welcome to In The Chair. I'm Brenton Garren, the Executive Editor of Westside Today. I'm joined by Richard Walpert, who is CEO and Co-Founder of Helotech, an on-demand, in-home tech and tech sales service. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right, let's dive straight into it. Can sure. you give us a little bit of an overview about Helotech and what it is and what you guys offer? Yeah, so Helotech is an on-demand, in-home tech support and technology sales service. So to dissect that a little bit, uh, basically, you know, people are familiar, for example, like Uber, which is a you want a car right now, you can get it at a cost-effective way. We are effectively that for in-home tech support. So there's a website or an app you can use. You go on, you say what your problem is, you say when you want the person to come, tonight, tomorrow at 2, and we send somebody at that exact time. So unlike other companies where they'll say, we'll come between like 2 and 6 and you have to sit mm -hmm. for 4 hours, uh, we will give you that exact time, three o'clock, and we show up on time. And one of the cool things about HelloTech is in addition to the, the service that we offer that we think is great, we're actually employing college students. So it's a great opportunity for them to make a decent wage, much better than they would make on campus, and provide a great service. And one of the reasons we selected college students is because we think it's an underused workforce. And they were born when the internet was already becoming popular. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the internet was really starting to take off in 95. So those, those kids are now 20. Mm -hmm. And they've grown up with how to work with wireless and printers and networks and all those things. So we do train them, but they're just a great, great workforce. So when one of these techs arrives, what are the sort of things that they can help you with? So yeah, it, it covers the board. So wireless issues, which can be your wireless is slow. It could be a really common one we get is the wireless doesn't work in certain rooms in the house. Uh, it could be a wireless printer that they never really set up to work wirelessly. Uh, another big call for us is machines are running slow. Uh, that might be the hard disk is full. It might be that there's not enough memory. It might be that they have a virus or malware, but we cover all of that. Uh, and we even go into home theater and AV. So they have a universal remote control that's not working. They're interested in a whole house audio system, really cool system like Sonos. We can explain to them how that works and sell them that and even let them use that as a free trial. So it really, really covers any sort of technical support that somebody would have with their computers or their AV equipment. Mm -hmm. Can you share the story of how Helotech came to be? Sure, yeah, it's interesting. I was just reading the uh, story of how Uber came to be and they said the two founders were standing in a snowstorm in Paris trying to get a cab and they asked each other why they couldn't just push a button and get a cab. And what I found, this is my fourth startup, is the best companies come out of a desire that you have yourself or a need you have yourself. So our example of standing in the snow was basically me and my founders constantly getting called by our parents, by our neighbors and our friends saying, hey, you're a tech person. Can you fix my wireless network? Can you fix my file sharing? Can you fix these things? And we realized that we get called because there was not a great option. There's not a great way with a really reliable service to go online and say, I want this now. Mm -hmm. And that was something we realized not only would we use, but we would refer it to our parents and our friends. Mm -hmm. So that was really the genesis for how we came up with the idea for Hello Tech. And did you find with the online trend sort of growing that people don't really have any communication opposed to going a brick and mortar store where they can ask for help? Is that sort of another gap that you're filling? It, it is, and it's not just um, consumers' behavior. It's a, uh, it's a shrinking of the number of retail stores that there are. Mm -hmm. So if you look back in the last 10 years, Radio Shack has closed. Comp USA has closed. Circuit City has closed. So most of the retail locations that people used to go to learn about new technology no longer exist. And at the same time, the amount of new technology that's available for the home is more than ever. So internet controlled door locks, wireless music systems, uh, video surveillance systems, all these things are really affordable now and work really well, but there's just no place to go with the exception of Best Buy to learn about this. So in addition to the support, 
we are there to help educate the customer on here are the latest and greatest products and technology, and we can come and install those and train people. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my next question. If you can talk about the partnerships you have through the offering of these tech products. Yeah, so we have several partnerships already, and we'll have more. So uh, one of our important ones is Sonos. And if people aren't familiar with it, Sonos is an awesome wireless music system where you can add speakers two, three, four, five throughout the house. Uh, we're partnered with Nest, which has a great digital thermostat. Uh, a company that was bought by Google just shortly after it launched its product. I personally have one and not only is it cool technology, but it does really clever things like notice when nobody's home. And even if your thermostat was set to go off, uh, if it notices no motion in the house, it won't turn on the heater. So it really saves you money. Uh, and then on the digital side, we've partnered with people like LifeLock, which offer a great identity protection, which is a growing problem. Almost on a monthly or weekly basis, we hear about security breaches at Target and others. Uh, and an online backup company called iDrive. So those are just some of the partnerships that we formed. And whereabouts is the service currently available and do you guys plan to expand as well? Uh, so great question. We just launched last Tuesday, May 26th in West LA and beyond. So the service area that we're doing is the seven mile radius around UCLA. Uh, UCLA, sorry, LA is pretty dense, so it's a big area. It's over 50 zip codes. It's bigger than the size of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And it covers Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, West LA, Bel Air, uh, Pacific Palisades, uh, parts of Studio City and Sherman Oaks. And probably in the next 30 to 60 days, we'll branch that to all of Los Angeles. And then in the fall, we'll be launching additional cities. Okay. And for anyone who wants more information, where can they go? Uh, hellotech.com, just like it sounds, H-E-L-L-O-T-E-C-H. -E -E and uh, we have a promotion right now, the first hour, $79 an hour. The first hour is free. And about half of our calls during our tests were done within an hour. So it's almost as if getting your first, first in-person, on-demand on home tech support for free. So it's a great offer. Mm -hmm. Well, Richard, thank you so much for coming in to talk about HelloTech. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week, so don't forget to check out westsidetoday.com to see who's in the chair. I'm Brenton Garren for Westside TV.